Hi, my name is Mr. Hills. I teach AP Physics at Ramapo High School. My students currently are working on designing lab experiments as practice for their AP exam coming up in this May. So they're using different equipment to design their own experiment that we are going to test. Hi, my name is Malik, and in our experiment today, we are determining the velocity of a cart using our ramp and photo gates. We're going to measure the acceleration and momentum of this cart with different masses. Over here, this sensor is called a motion sensor. It tracks how fast the object's moving and its position. And these things are called photo gates, and they'll tell you how fast it's going at specific time intervals. So the students could look at the graphs, to analyze the speed, or they could look at the data table. Hi, my name is Kelly, and in this experiment, we're figuring, we're figuring out how energy is affected by putting it in a free fall position. So, to do that, well, we're, the main question figuring out is to find out the total energy and how high it affects it. So, to do that, we're dropping a lead pencil from multiple heights on the photo gate. And then we're going to figure out the time and velocity from it. And then to, with that, we're going to figure out like, the kinetic energy and potential energy. And then we'll figure the rest out. Hi, I'm Rashma. And today we're trying to determine if there's friction on the tracks. In order to do that, we're first trying to determine the different distances while we're keeping the mass the same. And we're going to determine the change of velocity versus the change in time. In order to do that, while we graph the different variables, we can see if there's also a change in acceleration and comparing that to the theoretical acceleration. And therefore, if there's a difference between the two, that means a friction exists within the tracks. Hi, my name is Steven, and in this experiment, we're using a projectile launcher to um, determine if a certain marble will make it into a jar that is put at a certain distance. So we determine the distance by um, calculating uh, the angle and um, velocity at a certain PSI and using that knowledge and our physics con concepts with kinematics and projectile motion, we'll see if this marble makes it into the jar. Hopefully it all works out.